hi welcome to our last page this is our last uh, website the main website we have about three domains but this is the main and the most important one to use so this is the home page you can see um, I'm trying I'm gonna try to go through and, and give you some a tutorial um, if you go all the way down usually you can get to us and very easily and um, so if you want to read about us you obviously click here and see our board of directors I am not on the board I am the executive director and, uh, and these are the board of directors so what we do is you know we do advocacy lion's share of work we do youth leadership women and girls and education each of these departments are huge and on their own they have about somewhere between three to two to three staff and several more uh, volunteers some departments have up to six staff like advocacy in addition to me if you are a college and high school student who want to help and be part of the Oromo movement, there are several ways you can get involved. First and foremost is membership. We do really desperately want members because it's just about $2. If we can get $2 and 1,000 people to donate, that is about, you know, $2,000 we get every month. So we do help you're going to become a member. You can also join committees. Uh, committees are like um, basically specific tasks you know if you're interested in education and leadership and and then also volunteer the most important thing you're going to give from here is actually this next two tabs the resource and the news on the resource i'll go with Oromo census this is really really important because a lot of times we say that oh there are 1000 Oromos in here 10,000 Oromos there but we don't really have accurate data we're investing thousands of dollars. We've already built the infrastructure and secured um, iCloud database to collect accurate how many doctors, how many nurses do we have, how many students, how many children, how many women, and uh, just basically very sophisticated information. Also, because we do support and we do also like support from organization, we do register organization. For example, I believe there's about five or six OYA who have registered under OLA. Those are OYAs we you know try to support them in different way including you know our financial resource you know raise money for them uh, help them become uh, more stronger help them write by law if it's necessary help them find the money but they have to be part of organization and professional network so you can be that and I do hope that you click in that the other icon here is the news so if you go to news you always can go to all last publication or last press release, news and update, and all last events. So if you click on all last publication, you should be able to see all of our publication. The other icon you saw is press release. You know, we do have press releases, and uh, when it's really important, we do press releases out. So these are our press releases on different you know issues that we've been publishing. The other one is news and update. A lot of time, you know, people want to read about Romo, what the others are saying, like New York Times, Washington Post, BBC. So we try to put every news article that have about Ethiopia, especially about Romo, we put it in here. So you can read, you know, going back months, and you can do it for your own. So we try to put the date from April, June, July, and so on. It goes back. This is a resource for you to use and all last event, you know, this is kind of our previous event where we had and we also do have a calendar. So we have upcoming, you know, that just started fundraising project. We have August 1st uh, event. We have a Twitter campaign. This is August 1st uh, conference that's coming up that is exclusively for community leaders. We have a public and exclusive uh, event on August 1st, so I hope you're registered if you are coming to Minnesota for Osvana. I'll take you back to what we do and then take you to advocacy. As I say, advocacy has its own website dedicated to advocacy. There's a lots of things that, that we, we want you guys to use this website for. We spend lots of hours and lots of money just making this as friendly as possible these are here advocacy team 
you get to see who the who we are as advocacy team just because this is just an advocacy so you'll see these are people who are on advocacy a team at a different level and we call them atf group this is the they are our community liaison helping us in a different different ways so you can read about us what we do about the campaign and about Waltana, like our conferences is put together by Waltana. our community outreach is done by atf which is the group that i shared it to you resource here so let's say for example that you, let's say you witness someone that got shot or something in oromia you can always go to galmedima and report it there when we verify then we publish it but we always collect and this is just that i'm not going to get into it because this is huge and the other one is the human rights archive so human rights archive is like it's similar to galmedima but it's we can publish it from that one so basically we're saying that if you see something violation if it's about you know what did you what are you reporting is it arrest you click here if it's injury you click here if you if someone that died you click there because it does change based on uh, what you want to report so the most important Important thing that we work on spend a lot of time on is our advocacy template because a lot of time like we want to reach out to Congress we want to reach our member of parliament elected official in Canada and Australia Europe America just about anywhere but you like how do what do I say where do I get started and that's where you you know you come here and you get template you're really concerned about what's going on or what law or maybe what like or maybe just generally about Yemen or whatever it is that you know you should have it here so last template as you can see is like hey when it was house resolution 445 was introduced so let's say when you want to like talk just generally about the atrocities in Oromia this is you click here on the email um, bam you just like put your name where it's highlighted in yellow you can say like hey my name is Sena uh, my name is uh, blah blah and then I am one of you senator and representative constituent and i'm calling to say you know thank you or whatever you want to say basically that's an email but let's say you really care about the killing in walaga and you want to send them an email so this is the email basically this is the instruction it says like you know highlighted part is the part that you're gonna put like you know your congress or senator name the address and all of that and then the, their name again and then your name here so it'll be like my name is and I am one of your constituents. I write to you regarding the escalation crisis in Ethiopia's Oromia region, where a score of innocent civilians have been killed by Ethiopia regional force. And then you go on and tell them what's going on. Very much uh, the email template. But you just want to give them a call. That's exactly you have. We have the same thing for email uh, for the phone call too. This is what you tell them basically. And but you know what? But you really worry about you know the attack in one law. You know because we have all kind of template so like hey this is dedicated to you know the brutality and what happened to wallah but you know what maybe you really are disturbed by about what happened in yemen you know same thing we have here but you know what but you're not based in america but you are in canada or australia or whatever this is the little template you can also use this is for australia this is for europe and then also like you know what about other people who are doing uh, writing something similar one of the things that we liked is like for example uh, Henoch's uh, template here you can just use his too and other Oromo community template so this one is here we just have to use that one and it's very very easy to find your senator to find your representative if you want to find your senator you just click here and it will take you and pretty much you just put your state and then it, it kind of help you there too this is the main page you know you can become our last member and it's really big help for us you know these are our kids we work on in the past in different committees and you can become a volunteer something that i said earlier thank you so much i hope you i hope this tutorial was helpful inspiring or useful in any way to you and we hope you can join us and uh, if there's something that is missing that you feel like oh it would be nice to have here let us know if you have uh, some free time and the skills that you want to contribute make a difference please and connect with us we'd love to have you as you can see we have dozens of young people from high school all the way to college that have taken part so we call on you call on your children call on your sisters and brothers to join the Romo movement to be voice for the voiceless Romus and Ethiopians. Thank you.